You guys, I'm so sad. Okay, so if I'm a little off in my video, it's because I'm sad. My chameleon who, you guys, I had my channel when I start, when I got Camille. We found her on the street in a city near us and my husband brought her home on his lunch hour and he's like, look, I found this chameleon. It was a, it, she was young. I found this chameleon on the road. No one claimed her in this, where I was. So I'm bringing her home to you. And I'm like, what the heck do I do with a chameleon? I've never had a chameleon before in my entire life. Like, what am I going to do with her? Uh, I never had a lizard in my entire life. Like never. And um, so I called up the Humane Society. I called up rescue centers. I posted all over Facebook for like rescues. And I posted like lost and found animals in our area for a year. I was, I was calling vets offices, like looking for the owner of this chameleon, because how could anyone just, you know, leave their chameleon and not like want it back? You know what I mean? And no one claimed her. So we kept her and we gave her the best life. And she was just so weird. I don't know if you guys remember, but I would like when I was filming upstairs, her cage used to be where I was filming and you could hear the water on it would trickle. And I never wanted to turn it off. I knew you could hear it in the background, but I didn't want to turn it off because what if she was thirsty while I was recording my videos? And I would mention it all the time in my videos because I was like, I'm sorry for the sound. And she would stare at me and I'd be like, oh my gosh, my chameleon's staring at me. And she always had a resting bitch face. Like I never knew she was happy or she was unhappy because she always kept the same look on her face. And she was really, she was a great pet. Like she would sit on our shoulders. We'd walk around the house with her. She'd just crawl all over us. My kids would bring her outside in the warmer weather and she'd crawl on the grass and try and run into the garden before my kids could get her. She was just so sweet. And I used to remember like thinking to myself, like I've heard that chameleons were really mean. They, didn't, they were like very solitary. They don't like people or anyone that you can't, they can't share a cage with anyone. Like that's what I heard. So when we got her or when we found her, she was so friendly and so sweet and she never was, she was more social than she was anything else. So I kept looking up stuff about chame chameleons thinking like, is there something wrong with her that she likes people so much? But no, she was just a friendly chameleon. She liked to be with us and hang out with us. And she passed away this morning. It was just out of the blue. And we found, I went to go turn on her lights and she had passed away and I'm so sad. I'm really sad about it. Like super sad. I'm just super sad. And I get myself super attached to all my animals. I've always been that way. I love my animals so much. I treat them like they're kids and I spoil them all. And I'm just going to miss her. That's the truth. I'm going to miss her. So, all right, guys, sorry about this intro. Hey guys, it's Abby. And today we have the Allure box for December, 2021. And I received this like last week, but I just haven't had time to film. So I'm finally sitting down to film this. If you don't know, Allure is $23 a month. It is a beauty subscription and you get six products. I believe it's six products and three are supposed to be full size and the rest are like sample size mini products kind of thing. So I think that their most recent boxes have definitely been, been better than before, but before they changed the price, it was amazing. But now that it's $23, I expect more from the box. I don't think it's like the best box ever, but I don't see myself canceling anytime soon because I do really like Allure. It's one of those boxes that I'm like stuck on for some reason. It's kind of like BoxyCharm. I'll keep the base box, but it's not that great. <laughs> okay. So when you open up the box, it looks like this. And the pamphlet is right here. And inside is, it talks about the products, gives you a full size value product, a full size value, a value of the full size product that's in your box. And there's always a beautiful girl on the front with like perfect eyebrows, perfect lips. First thing I'm pulling out is this, Hero Mini Lightning Wand. Brightens and smooths with vitamin C, niacinamide, niacinamide, and tranexamic, examic acid. I don't know what that is. It's a dark spot brightening serum. So you squeeze the bottle to release the formula and you glide the roller ball over your dark spots. I had dark spots all right here last year and the year before. And I like spent, I don't even know, probably like 
six months getting rid of them. Okay, so here is the little wand. Let's see how much this is. The full size of this is $20, which is not bad. And you shouldn't use it on active breakouts. Okay, so it's just this little roller ball right here. Cute. All right, I don't, I'm not mad at that at all. Okay, then we have this, and I believe this must be a full size. Beauty Stat Universal Pro Bio Moisture Boost Cream. This retails for $50. $50. The full size of this is one ounce, 30 grams. Okay. This says cosmetic chemist Ron Robinson has made moisturizers and serums for the world's fanciest skincare brands, and now he's bottling his years of skin smoothing, glowing, inducing knowledge into his beauty line, Beauty Stat. The formula is richly hydrating but light in texture, so it layers well with other products. You can use it on its own morning, night, morning and night, or over serums or toners. It's a good makeup base as well without any pilling. Okay, let's check this out. $50 for this. This better be the best moisturizer I've ever used in my life. I don't mind getting super fancy stuff in my boxes because, you know, it's super fancy and I will use it because I'll never spend that much money on this stuff, but that is a lot of money. I mean, not as expensive as some out there, but it's still expensive. Okay. Here it is. It's more like a gel, it feels like. Okay. It has a lovely scent. I don't know what the scent is. It's not, it doesn't smell like... A lot of products have that um, like herbal scent to them and I sometimes I just don't like it. Sometimes it feels like I'm putting dirt on my, not that it feels like dirt, but it smells like dirt going on my face. Okay, so we got this. The next thing is this and this is the Neom Organics London Perfect Night's Sleep Magnesium Body Butter. Ooh, okay. This full size of this retails for $41. Massage it over your skin. If you shower at night, use this right after when skin is slightly damp. Add a little to your feet to coddle and smooth heels. And it's a rich moisturizer scented with relaxing lavender and sweet jasmine. Okay. There's a safety seal, so I'm not going to open it. All right. The next thing is this. And this is on the back of the pamphlet. So usually if there's a product on the back of your pamphlet, you will get like a sample of it. So this is the healing ointment for sensitive skin. And it's by Cetaphil. I use Cetaphil products a lot. All right, the next thing is this. And this is Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner by... Oh, I think this is Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh, look at Allure being all fancy. Uh, this retails for $22. This is obviously a full size. And it's pa it packaged her recipe for believably fuller, softer lips in this creamy, convenient, and easy-to-use pencil. You're going to get one of the three gorgeous neutral shades, Pillow Talk Original, Pillow Talk Medium, or Pillow Talk Intense. Okay, so let's see. I don't have any of her lip liners. Here we go. Oh wait, what did I get? Pillow Talk Intense or Medium? It just says Pillow Talk on here. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love that. I love that shade so much. It's just like a perfect nude. Really, really beautiful. Yeah, I'll totally use this all the time. I'll use, I like using lip liners as lipstick sometimes because it doesn't come off. That is beautiful. Oh, I think that's my favorite thing. Okay, the next thing is this Neolastin Revitalize and Firm Eye Cream. This is 0 0.3 ounces, fluid ounces, and $95 for a full size. How do you know if this is full size? Is this full size? For an eye cream, this might be a full size. 10 milliliters, 10, yeah, I think this is full size, 95 freaking dollars. That is so stupid expensive, guys. 
stupid expensive, but it, this is the reason why I get subscription boxes. I think this box is really good for Allure, like super good for Allure. Okay, tap this on your eyes, on your smile lines and across your brow bones. Use your pinky, you'll be less likely to tug on the areas. I use my ring finger. I've always used my ring finger. You're supposed to use your pinky. Okay, this is a cat. This is the cashmere sweater of eye cream. So soft and comfy. You'll want to live in it this winter, but better because it also smooths lines and peptides. A tried and true ingredient that dermatologists and cosmetics, cosmetic chemists love. This formula is rich enough to keep delicate under eyes hydrated on the most blustery days, but not so heavy that it will smudge your makeup. You guys, $95 worth of product on my eyes? Yes, please. Doesn't have a scent and it's just a really nice thick cream. I am not going to put any of this on my hands or anything because, oh no, it's squished out. Okay, well, this is probably like a $5 squish of product. Oh, I got it on my nose. There is no scent whatsoever. It's, it's a thicker cream, but it smooths down to more like a serum than it does anything else. Okay, I'm very excited about this. All right, and the last but not least is this, and this is a Floss Eyeshadow Squad in Just Peachy. This retails for $24. That is stupid expensive for four eyeshadows, but okay. This is a collection of matte and shimmery peach shades, and it's a fun way to reimagine neutral eyeshadow. Brush the lightest, we know how to use eyeshadow. Peach is softer than usual brown, which makes it surprisingly easy to wear and more playful too. I've been really into just like plain matte eye looks without the shimmer. When I'm not making videos, I don't do like a real heavy eye look. Like today, I just put brown eyeshadow on my in my crease and buffed it out, put lashes on. That's what I usually do. Okay, so here's the packaging. Typical floss packaging. And here are the shades. I You guys, you tell me if you see swatches in those. I am so sick and tired and I like you guys you, whoever's been here for the longest for my channel, or if you've only been here for six months, I get shitty ass products in boxes that are shitty, or I get good boxes with shitty products, or I get products that are broken or touched. This is touched. I don't care what anybody says. There are four swatches in four of the shadows. Look at this. Do you see that? They're perfect swirls. Perfect swirls and oh, sorry they're perfect swirls literally someone stuck their fingers in there swatched it and they put in a they put in a used palette I don't think I've ever seen a palette this swatched before like full on every shadow swatched I've never seen it I literally see the circles where they're swatched look at that I am so disappointed. I was so excited. Yep, even the shimmers are swatched. That I'm so disappointed in that. I'm still going to swatch it for you guys, but I don't know. You know what? No, I'm not going to swatch it because I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to Allure because that's unacceptable. This is literally a used palette. Maybe not like used for the eyes, but definitely swatched. That I get, I have the worst luck, like the worst luck ever. Okay. All right, let's move on. Cause I will talk about that for a half hour and I've already, I'm already a little sad today. So I don't want to like get in a bad mood and like, just like complain the whole time. Cause you guys will just click out and be like, Abby's really negative, but I haven't been negative. This whole video is such a great box, such a great box. I'm so disappointed in that. Okay. So we got a eyeshadow quad by floss. We received the Neolastin eye cream, which I'm super excited about. And for $95, amazing. We received the Charlotte Tilbury 
lip liner, which is awesome. I don't think I've ever gotten Charlotte Tilbury in any subscription box. Even when it was in a subscription box, I didn't get it as a choice or an item in my box. So I am super excited about that. We received the roller ball for your dark spots. We received the Neom Perfect Night Sleep Body Butter. The little sample of the Cetaphil. We received this $50 face moisturizer right here. And is that it? Yeah, and that's it. You guys, it was a great, amazing Allure. If Allure was this good every single month, I would never complain. It is really, really good. We got great skincare products. We got makeup. I am just super bummed that I got a swatched eyeshadow palette. Like, it's so gross. And it's clearly swatched. It's not like, oh, I think it's swatched. Are the shadows pressed weird? No. Someone put their little fingers, swatched it, and they by accidentally put it in my box. Happens to me all the time. I literally have the shittiest luck ever. But, all right, guys, that is it for my Allure box for December 2021. Let me know what you thought about this box. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments below. I hope everyone's having a really great day. I'm going to show some pictures of Camille at the end of this video. We loved her so, so much. I still love her so much. And um, we're super sad about it. But I'm so thankful that I got time. I got to be like her pet owner. You know, I got I got to have a chameleon. It was like the coolest experience ever. So I'm really grateful for that. And I hope everyone's having a great day. I love you guys so, so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.